Okay, so we're starting a, an, another one of these recordings. The um, this is gonna this still involves circles, and what we need to do is uh, get our smooth draw into place. There we go. And we've got to continue our equations of circles. So we talked about in last time that we talked about the uh, standard form. And let me give you, a, let me put, a, put one up here. But we're now we're going, actually, before I do that, let me write down that where we're headed, what we want to do now is talk about the general form. Equation of circle, but it's called the general form. And it's still all about the equation of, and this time I won't write a, a little circle there. I won't draw a circle. I'll put a circle there. I'll put the word circle. Okay, so we want to get it into general form. So we start out, this type of problem starts out with, there's two types of problems like this, but here's the first type. It starts out with giving you, this is a given, it's on your paper. It gives you the... Um, the uh, the the one in uh, standard form x minus one squared equation of a circle in standard form plus y minus two here's an ex one of those one of those cases where you have the uh, standard form and we get an equals eight fine we get an equals eight all right so now what we've got to do is we got to get this into it starts in stand in in uh, standard form we want to get it into general form. Here's how you do it. We've got to flesh this out. And as we got to do foil over here, I'm going to scrap paper. We've got to foil x minus 1 times x minus 1. It's coming from here, x minus 1 squared. That's x minus 1 times x minus 1. Okay, so that's equal to x times x, which is x squared x times negative 1 is negative negative 1x. That's negative x. Negative 1 at times x is another negative x. And minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So altogether, that's x squared minus 2x plus 1. Over here on the right-hand side, that's my scrap paper work. I bring it over here, and what do I got so far? I've got x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, I did that. Now I got to do y minus 2 squared. I go to my, my, my scrap paper, and I got to do y minus 2 times y minus 2. That's y minus 2 squared. What do I get? y times y, which is y squared. y times negative 2, which is negative 2y. Negative 2 times y is another negative 2y. And minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. So that's y squared minus 4y plus 4, bring it over here, and I've got, add to, add to that y squared minus 4y plus 4, where did I get that from? From y2 squared equals 8. Okay, it's not in general form yet. We got, it, we got to get it into general form. We're not there yet. So now, we've got to add the like terms together. Well, there's nothing to do with... Uh, x squared we leave alone and then we have uh besides that i got my y squared x squared plus my y squared okay i've got that done i've got that done uh minus 2x uh shows up okay i've got that done minus 4y shows up i got that done one and four is five equals eight but I'm still not there. General form. I've got to get it to be equal to. Um, I've got to get, got to get it to be equal to the um, to to zero on the right hand side. So I got to do minus eight over here to get this to become zero. If I do minus eight on the right, I got to do minus eight on the left. And I've got x squared. Plus, I'm sorry, I forgot the y squared here. Plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y. 5 and negative 8 is negative 3, 0. And finally, this is 
the general form. This is the general form of the equation. I've got an equal zero on the right hand side. This is the general form of an equation of a circle. Okay, now we might have to do take the rest of this circle story might take two videos. But here comes number the number two. And it looks like it seems like it's a tangent. Here's the question. If I've got x squared plus 8x plus 16 and I ask you to factor it so it's a special case this is a perfect square this is a perfect square and then square root of x squared is x square root of 16 is 4 is 4x times 2 is 8x so factored this would be square root of uh, of x squared is x Square root of 16 is uh, 4, so it would be pl x plus 4 times x plus 4. That would be the factors, also known as x plus 4 squared. Okay, now, what if I have as follows? I give you a question that you might have seen before, which says, complete the square. Complete the square. Okay, if you if I gave you an x squared plus 8x, and you're supposed to make this into a perfect square trinomial, just like this was a perfect square trinomial, I'm giving you the same question, but I'm going to show you what to do. How do you make this into, how do you, when you have x squared plus 8x, how do you know that it's, you should come out with 16 to make it a perfect square trinomial so that you have these type of factors? The answer is you take... 8 and divide it by 2 and then square it. That would be 4 squared and then you get your 16 which is the same as this 16. So if you only had two of them you know how to make a perfect square. The way the they make it a perfect square is take the middle coefficient divide it by 2 and then square it. That would be 4 squared is equal to 16 and you can get it to, to be to, to complete the square. So let me ask you another question. Let's go to 2a. And it's still our tangent. You'll see why we need this pretty soon. What if you have x squared minus 12x and you're supposed to complete the square over here, right here. So let's get some more paper and move this up. There we go. And here's what you would do. To, come, to get this job done, you would take the negative 12, divide it by 2, and square it. That's negative 6 squared equals 36. That's the number. You would add a plus 36, and you have completed the square. What are the factors of this? The factors are x. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 36 is 6. There's a minus here, so put a minus here. And the factors are x minus 6 times x minus 6, also known as x minus 6 squared. This is called completing the square. We need that for the next problem. We've got one more video about circles, and I think we'll complete the job. So this ends this. This What we've done here is we've paved the way for, we're still talking about general form of, uh, of circles. That's still our topic. Our topic was general form right over here. The, uh, well, sorry, the general form. And what we're doing is this, this tangent right over here, this tangent is going to help us 
uh, take care of the next problem, problem number three, in the next video. Okay, so we sign off, and then we got to, I got to go to the next video to show you how that's done. Okay.